Okay, we're gonna work on Cav Fifi virtual machine, which is we have imported the virtual machine here. Okay, this is a vulnerable virtual machine on purpose. We're gonna try to explore today to gain access to the machine. First, we need to figure out what is the IP address of our target. We will start Emma for this. Okay. Uh, one nine four. Okay. Now here the IP address or the target IP address is one three six ending with one three six. We have three open ports here, SSH uh, on HTTP and the protocol is LLAC. Uh, first, if we try to navigate to the um, web server on ports 80. Okay, we'll see a uh, welcome screen for NGNX server here. And it seems that we got nothing to do here, as you can see here. Even if you look on the source code, we will find nothing okay so we will try to navigate as you can see here we will see what are the possible services or the version and details about the services on the target machine here let's end map minus b minus a or detection our target okay so here we have as you can see here on port 31337 we got three possible directories which flagged or which are flagged as disallowed entries batch rc profile taxes now the objective of this challenge or the ctf is um getting three flags okay three flags in this challenge we will get two flags or in this uh, section or part we will get two flags and in the next video we will get the third flags okay so here if we navigate to taxes i may need to fix this okay now we will get the first flag okay so the next flag you will get it by uh, going to Dear Buster, to try to figure out what are the possible directories or enumerating the possible directories in the web server here. So we'll um, fire up Dear Buster for this. We'll go to the directory. Okay. And the file. So you will copy this including the port and don't forget the port okay and cancel this use black extension because you are figuring out and or fingering the directories okay click browse you will use the the file or the wordless which will which will works out for this is the one named i'm gonna show you now big.txt okay select list and start you will rapidly and immediately get possible uh, directories here as you can see here batch history profile ssh the one you need or after uh, possible uh, replicating to through those all through those directories the possible one or the only one you need is dot ssh so you will navigate to this directory here You will get three files here. Now those are seem to be three files here, so you will need to download them by 
ID, click ID RSA, you will download the, the file, the first file, click save, the second one, and the third file okay click on close okay now those files here you will get them to the desktop now those are the files that contain the private keys for logging in to SSH okay using SSH so here I will close this okay if I click on authorized keys open the text editor here I will see the key used for to log into SSH server and with the username C1 coffee but this key is encrypted and with a passphrase so I need passphrase for this and this will be many and this manifested is when you try to for example here let me do this okay. sh minus i minus i because I'm using uh, the key for logging in rsa and the username is semen Permission denied. Uh, I may need to give access permissions for the key. Okay. Let's specify the directory which contains the file. Okay. I think we're ready to log in again. So I'm going to copy this. No satisfied in directory. Minus I. Okay. No, no, no. Do this. Okay, as you can see, we need passwords for this. I'm gonna use John the Ripper for this to try to crack the password for the private key. So I'm gonna use here John the Ripper. Before using John the Ripper for this, I'm gonna use SSH to John, which converts or which try to extract the um, the hash value of the private key in order to crack it using John the Ripper. So SSH to John. Let's, let's navigate to desktop first. Okay, set to John. The file which contains the private key is IDRSA. I'm gonna pipe the output to a new file which is called pass. Okay. Now using John John Derper for this, John rules the file is pass. Okay. Now I'm gonna click on John again. Okay, so I need to see the passwords for this. John minus show pass. Okay, as you can see, the password is star words. If I click, if I type star words here, star words, star words. Okay, now we get access to the machine. Okay, through SSH. Now we have access to the to the targeted machine. Using the username Seaman. If, if I type of oh, my ID, okay. If I click on CD uh, root ls, now we got two files. If, if we try to get the flag, it says permission denied. 
neither you can uh, escalate your privilege in order to see the uh, content of the flag file. So if we see the read message dot c here, cat read okay we see some sort of small c program that gets an input from the user the, user, the name and validates the input against a specified uh, string which is semen if the input is um, or matches the semen name it's going to get you a hello message here welcome message. Uh, and if not it's going to tell you that you have violated the um, policies or violations or whatever so next video we will try to escalate our privilege into root right now we are um, our ID is here Simon okay so next video we will try to escalate our privilege to get root privilege okay even though now we have access to the machine we can't do anything in the machine as you can see if I try to um, for example see let's see the password file and this is the password file the minus i okay okay in the next video we were gonna exploit a buffer overflow vulnerability in the read message program okay in order to get shell access or to get root access because now you have access in the target machine we will ask it our privilege in the next video to root access thank you for watching